Assalamu alaikum. We know sun is the closest star to our planet. And it is the source of almost all kind of electromagnetic radiation. Now this electromagnetic radiation reaches earth from sun and other stars through empty space. Uh, this empty space is free from any kind of electric charges. When there are no electric charge, then there will be no electric current. And according to Ampere's law, when there is no electric current, then there will be no existence of magnetic field. So as a result, if uh, Ampere's uh, law is uh, alone true, then there will be no existence of electromagnetic radiation in space. But uh, we are continuously receiving electromagnetic radiation from sun and other stars on the surface of earth. So what is uh, the reason behind it? Let's explore it in this video. To get the answer, I will start with the uh, Ampere's uh, circuit and Ampere's Circuital law. Ampere circuit law is otherwise known as Ampere's law. Ampere's law. And what does it say? Let's find out. Ampere's law says that line integral of a magnetic field through a closed path is equal to v0 times the net current flowing through that closed path. So I take a net current as I dot. Okay. And uh, we know electric current is nothing but the rate of flow of charges. When a charges flow in a particular direction, it constitutes electric current, which is represented as dQ upon dP, rate of flow of charges. Clear? Now to this law, now here it says that for the existence of a magnetic field, Current is required. Without current, there will be no magnetic field. It was modified by Maxwell and it is known as Maxwell's correction. So, let's see what kind of modification Maxwell did to Ampere's law. Maxwell's correction. Here, he introduced a new term to this. He replaced I naught with the I C plus I D. Here I C is conduction current and I D is nothing but displacement current. What is this uh, conduction current? Conduction current is uh, the current which is produced when charges flow in a particular direction. So, what is the uh, discussed here? The same thing. And uh, ID, ID stands for displacement current. Displacement current. This uh, displacement current come into play when uh, there is change in electric field or electric flux. Whenever electric field changes, it uh, results in the production of displacement current. Okay. So This can be expanded as mu naught I C plus mu naught I D. In a space, there is no conduction current in a space, no charge. So no existence of conduction current. 
which is nothing but IC. So here, from this, you can say IC is equal to 0. If we substitute that one here, so what I get? In the next step, I get this. Line interval of BDL to the closed path. Step plus mu naught. In the place of IC, I write to 0. Plus mu naught I D is what I get. Then next step, mu naught I D. Okay. Now we'll see here ID is the, the displacement current and this is the, the correction term introduced by Maxwell to Ampere's law. Okay. Now this can be written in the place of ID. Alright, epsilon naught d five e upon d t. Uh, this is what uh, we get at the end. Okay, this is called as correction term. What is this? This is the correction term introduced by Maxwell to Ampere's law. Okay. That's it. So, this uh, clearly shows that in the absence of uh, conduction current, displacement current produces magnetic field. Okay, according to Faraday's law. According to Faraday's law, when there is a magnetic field is present. Then there will be an uh, existence of electric field. Now, currently speaking, in uh, stars, due to thermal excitation, atoms give out the uh, electric field. A kind of uh, time varying electric field is produced. This time varying electric field gives rise to time varying magnetic field. And according to Faraday's law, this time varying magnetic field produces time varying electric field. As a result, this uh, time varying electric field and time varying magnetic field go hand by hand and uh, gives rise to electromagnetic waves. They give rise to electromagnetic wave. Okay, this is how electromagnetic wave or electromagnetic radiation exists uh, in the empty space. Okay, now uh, before uh, I conclude, let me tell you what is this time varying electric field and uh, time varying magnetic field. Time varying electric field is nothing but an electric field whose magnitude changes with the time. In a similar way, a magnetic field which changes with the time is referred as time varying magnetic field. Okay. In uh, our previous video, we have studied that when varying electric field and uh, varying magnetic field vary. Uh, go hand by hand it produces electromagnetic wave clear yeah. this is what we have learned here this represents the magnetic field and uh, this wave represents a magnetic field they go hand by hand as a result electromagnetic wave or electromagnetic radiation is produced i hope uh, the video is useful if you have any kind of doubt Related to the topic, can you put a question in the comment section? Thanks for watching.